One other thing I like to do in my video is to talk about the current environment, the current stock market or index at this moment, and at the same time to impart you how I analyze and look at a chart. Now today I want to talk about Nasdaq, right? Meaning that we saw that Nasdaq had a uh, quite a correction recently, and how to analyze in the Nasdaq to find that if you are looking to short to sell, right, and you think that it's going to move down in future, and then what kind of technique to ensure that you are actually selling at a high. Let's talk about how to identify an uptrend and how to know that uptrend is about to reverse. Now, this is how we know an uptrend. So, for example, if price keeps forming a higher high versus the previous high and a higher low versus the previous low, then these four points were enough to tell us that the trend is moving up. Now, if price continues to make a higher high and a higher low, then the uptrend continues. But there will be one point of time where you find that the trend is going to reverse, then how do we know that it's going to reverse, right? It's when price stopped making a new high, instead it made a lower high as compared to the previous high. Not only that, it must break the support level that's identified between the two highs. That means that the support level between the two highs, which is this higher low here, must break. So as a summary, you want to look for a lower high as compared to the previous high, and between the two highs, you find a low point. So these will be the support level, and price must break below the support level to confirm that this uptrend is actually on its path to reverse. Now, one of the key things in spotting this lower high is you try to find this lower high at a point that's not too high versus the previous high, or not too low. So what is the meaning of not too high or too low? It means that if you see these as 10 and you see the low point as 1, you want to find this lower high around that 60 to 70% right of the previous downward range that means you probably be looking at a number of six to seven if you see the high as 10 and the low as one now let's take a look at the actual live execution have you clicked the subscribe button and how about a like Let's take a look at what is happening right now in NASDAQ after knowing the theory here. So if you take a look at NASDAQ from 2023 to the price right now, which is September 2024, then you know that generally NASDAQ has been moving in an uptrend. How do we know that? We have the higher low as versus the previous low, and we have a higher high versus the previous high. So as I said, there will be at one point that price is going reverse. So if you see this as 10, which was the high point, and this one as 1, which is the low point, then the key question is that what is this value here, right? So we can use the Fibonacci retracement tool by drawing from the high to the low, and it tells us that it's probably around the 76% to the 62%. Now, this region here, which is about the 60 to 70%, is what I term as a golden ratio. So, this is the place where it's just optimal for price to move down. So, this is what I mean by not so high as of this lower high. So, it is forming a potential lower high and not so low because it doesn't retrace to that 30% or 40%, right? It's retraced about 70% of the previous downward movement. Now, take a look at this point here, which is in the region of 60 to 70%. We do see a reversal pattern coming in for NASDAQ. Okay, so let's revise a little bit about what is reversal pattern just now. I said before we have an uptrend and then we start to see that it's from a lower high and price starts to move below the low point here. So this is a high, this is a lower high and we have this low point and if price is to break below the low point, then this is a sign of a reversal of this upward movement. So here we have an upward movement here and we do have a lower high here versus the previous high and price indeed it broke below that support level. So if you take for another point here, right, so we have a high point, we have a lower high here, and in between, for example, if this is the support level, right, which I, of course, chose the lowest point, then indeed that NASDAQ as of last night, then it broke through that support level. Hence, if you are looking at some short-term trading opportunity, then you might want to explore into DLCs, which is Daily Leverage Certificates. I'm right now at Mire Asset, which is one of the issuer 
of DLCs in SGX. So scroll down, you find the DLCs product. You can find this NBX here and SPX. Okay, so this would be NASDAQ and this would be S&P 500. So they offer a long and a short DLCs. What this means is that if investors like yourself, uh, you are bearish in NASDAQ, then you buy a short DLCs. But if let's say in the future you're bullish on NASDAQ, then you buy a long DLCs. Okay, so let's take a look at this short DLCs here. So this short DLCs is about 60 cents and you scroll down, you can find very important thing, right? It's the sensitivity of these DLCs. Now, what it means is that click on this question mark here and then you can see an explanation of what is the meaning of sensitivity. So it means that NASDAQ must move about 53.92 points in order for one change of the DLC price. So for example, if the DLC is 600 right now, then one thick is about 0 0.005, then in order for a movement of 0 0.005, then NASDAQ must move about 53.9 points. Right, for more information on trading DLCs, click on this education, then download this educational material, you should be able to know a lot more about DLCs. I hope that you like this style of the video, which I talk about a concept and how you apply the concept to the current market condition. If there's any other stocks that you'd like me to talk about, remember to leave me a comment to let me know. And I appreciate if you do give me a thumbs up for this video and as well as to subscribe to the channel because uh, I do update my channel very, very often. And if there's any trading thoughts I have, I would do the first thing, which is to record the video here. And I'll see you in my next video.